Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to take a look how we can use MS Graph API to update any user profile property under Office 365 or Microsoft 365. So in my one of the previous video where I have actually explained you the step by step process to use the MS Graph API, which we got registered under our Azure AD portal and uh, provided their required permissions, delegated those permissions to this app and in turn we use that app with the via HTTP call uh, to read out the DLs. So in earlier video we got we understood how we can read the DLs. Now in this video I'll just explain you how you can update the user profile property um, of Office 365 picture. So right now I can show you for example my current picture of my account is this Power Automate one. So this is my current uh, profile picture for my Microsoft account. So I would be updating this picture via MS Graph API call and we'll just uh, show you the step-by-step -step process how you can do that. So I'll just put up the link of this, uh, my previous video where you can follow the step to register the app where I have explained uh, the process of registering an app and using that app in turn uh, in our Power Automate. So here in the Azure Active Directory, I am registering that app. After registering, I am providing the permissions on this screen. If you can see API permissions, I am providing all the permissions where I'm just like clicking, clicking on Microsoft Graph. And after that, I am just uh, trying to find out the required permission. So for directory, you would be just uh, typing directory and grant the permissions and grant admin consent to it. And as in today's video, we are going to see how we can update the picture. So for that, you have to re uh, need a special permission that is uh, the contact uh, read and write permission. So I'll show you that as well. So I'll just put up the link of this video so that first before uh, or looking at the current today's video, you should be having a look on this video so that we you can follow the step to register MS Graph API app. All right. So I'll just uh, go to the graph explorer to explain you like what we are going to do today. So in today's video, we will be taking a look like how we can update. So I'll be using this put command to make an update. So over here, so with the endpoint, I'll be choosing the endpoint as users and you can just provide the principal ID of that user and we will be just writing back the photo value. So if I just do a get of this operation, I'll just uh, get the current picture. I'll just remove this body part and then just do a get. So I'll get the current picture which is there under my profile. So via this get command. And uh, if I, we are going to write, I'll be using put. So let's go back to our flow. So this was the earlier flow which I used in this video. So I'll just use the same flow. I'll extend the same flow to follow the next steps. So in this current flow, if I just open the HTTP uh, action, then it's get command. I'm getting the uh, groups with the display name. And then under this authentication, authority, tenant, all these steps you would be seeing under this video. So I'll just start uh, make a copy of this so that we can extend this flow. So I'll just save it as a new flow and I'll just name that as update profile picture and as graph API so that I should not be using the same HTTP again. So I will just go to my this flow. So right now it's disabled because by default, if we create a copy, it gets disabled. I'm just going to edit it. And now I will start doing the, uh, the updates or the extensions of the actions to make a, uh, this picture update. So I'll just remove, I'll just uh, go to directly to the get method. So I'll just change that to put because we are going to write an image. And I'll change this endpoint to the graph explorer. I'll just go to that and you'll we'll be using this endpoint. I'll just remove this entire stuff and pasting this one. Right. So under header, I have to specify the header as in where I would be writing content type as image. So I'll just copy that. I'm 
popping content type and image so i'll be instead of jpeg i'll be using png and this would be my content type and under the body i have to pass on the binary of that uh, file content or the image file content so for that i have to extract the image binary or file image file content so for that i'll be using i'll just minimize this uh, action and before that i'll be using get file and let's say like my this profile picture is on my onedrive so let me just open my onedrive and upload one profile picture so let me just quickly find out one profile picture from myself so let's say this is my profile picture so i'll just update this one and you can also have a sharepoint list where you can just uh, read out the sharepoint list item attachment and can do the same operation in that fashion so i'll just use this my profile pic and i'll just uh, say like get file metadata because uh, get file content because i need to get that file attachment and uh, in the file identifier i'll just click on this i'll just go to root and under root i should find my profile pic pic so it is my file and under show advanced uh, we will just we'll just have one property for content type so it will just have that content type as well in place with the file content so this file content we are going to use under my body so under body i'll be just using file content and this file content would be getting written over my this profile uh, photo value so when i just save it and when i try to just run it so it's disabled so i need to enable my flow first i'll just get to the properties and turn it on now i can just add it and then test my flow continue and run flow so my flow ran successfully and if i just go to any of my account properties and click on my this view account so for example i'm just going to this uh, outlook to look at my picture so you can see like the picture is still not yet updated but directly i can see like my this outlook this uh, hover image is being updated so sometimes like uh, for a few areas like for view, view account it takes a while 30 to 60 seconds to get it get that updated you can directly either you can directly go to delve to look at your pictures so for example let me just refresh this one the onedrive one and still like it's uh, not synced up over here so you can just go to your delve to look at your profile and in profile in delve it's updated so that means like for other areas it's syncing still syncing so it takes a like couple of minutes or five minutes to get sync, synced up at all areas so it's a quick workflow a uh, quick uh, power automate where you can just update the profile properties using ms graph api and one thing which need to be taken care of is like while uh, granting the permissions so if i just log into my aad account under this your Azure Active Directory app apps when you just go to your find out your applications you will find all already registered apps so for example this one which I am currently using and if you go to API permissions you would see like I have granted these permissions so for updating any photo or the profile picture you have to grant this read and write permissions to contact so that you can you can be able to update the pictures so just keep that in mind like otherwise you will get a uh, insufficient access issue so that's it for today so i'll just uh, drop the link of this video so that you can set up your app registration and after that the same flow you can just have http action in place with the updated and command uh, which is of this graph api and for updating user profile property so i hope uh, this could be useful for you 
So that's it for today. Thank you.